the man who came up with the expression, there's nothing more dangerous than a man with nothing left to lose, did not know Donald Trump. The question of whether or not it's reasonable to be supportive of the Islamic community in the Middle East when they went along with Ringo Starr's staged and phony intercept. I mean, they were so loud that they actually named an independent television station after what they pulled. Because the brainwashers knew that the neurotrauma was causing a hypnosis and that anybody who was nice to me would seem like God to me. So Penis Fripp, after torturing me, masqueraded as somebody who was, oh, listening, oh, listening from Mickey Jagger all across the smorgasbord. And they suckered me into saying something like it was like a holiness. So when you look at some group who martyred horror, laid a, Gaza as a sacrifice of toast at the doorstep of raving, slavering, fascist, thang, Nahanyahu. So the Ringo Starr could have the Seattle Queers gimmick of following me around with Yoko Ono injection needles. Don't be afraid anymore, little Jimmy, because you have seen the light. It's just a ruse from a psychopathic Hollywood run by Mel Brooks, Monty Python, and with the sincerity of Louis Farrakhan behind them over a one-night stand that Ming No Wen sniveled up with Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. That made the black man go crazy. The white. We must have the symbol of life. And they were naming people in Africa after the pussy ball game. Doesn't really stand as an argument for copying out a defense of the children of Gaza. I realize that Joe Biden is Her Majesty's emissary for God on earth. He's the Christian boy wonder. He profiles just like Billy Graham. It's his secret. Totality Joe is a Christian Night of resignation, ha ha ha. Smiling like a jackal and laughing like a hyena as he rages for sexual fidelity or death you part now. And they had the whole scheme cluckered into songs like the Battle of Epping Forest. In the end, he flips a coin for the non-aggression pact of 50-50 between Russia and Britain. And Israel has just stolen from our museums. Here, here the mayor of Pittsburgh said to Shulman, have some more, you'll just get house arrest. We're gonna release COVID now. <laughs> We're so smart. We're Pittsburgh. We love the Jews. We love them whole hog. They send the Boy Scouts out. They had a conspicuous, loud and clear Robert Card shooting up a bowling alley. While one of Robert Fripp's decoits comes in, dangling the carrot of his postcard and reminding the queer bait of Princess Diana. That's the quest for Allah. 